realize their colleague is a... Can I say that word? Or am I gonna get banned for that? All right, I ain't, I ain't even gonna risk it. I ain't even gonna risk it. Not even gonna risk that bitch. When cops realize their colleague is a, a nasty, weird mother That's all we gonna say. Some civilians, but what happens when officers discover there is a child predator among them? Oh, no. Nah. officer's gonna switch out the cuffs? Paul? No. My name's not Paul. You just say Paul. No, you just say your name, Paul. My name's not Paul. That's the wrong guy, buddy. I don't know what you're yeah, doing. what's good, man? What's up? What's up? There's another one right here. Here are five times when cops realized their colleague was a secret <laughs> Oh, shit. Nigga, he, he ain't say that Twitch, too. Starting with the case of this former cop who traveled a great distance to take advantage of a 14-year-old. What? Instead of his anticipated outcome, he would be greeted by the father of the child and a mob of police officers. Do something about it, you. Come out here. Hey, grab your gun. Really? Oh, you're a cop? You're a police officer? You're a fucking police officer? You're a fucking police officer, you scumbag? Days prior, the man had begun messaging an alleged 14 year old. Yo, sick. But could have never expected that this supposed 14 year old was actually the father of the child. The man also somehow thought flashing his police badge would save him, but he was terribly wrong. I'm gonna call your boss. I'm gonna call your boss. I'm gonna call your boss. Go just sick, bro. I wasn't going to. You wanna call your boss before I do? Does he have a stick point at him? You wanna call your boss before I do? Yo, he got a stick. What is that? He got a point towards him. Erase it all, you guys see it? Erasing it. He's erasing it. Oh, it's a camera. Erase it all. I'm video wherever the f I want to. Do something about it, you. Do something about you. Do something about it, you. What's this? What's that F word he's calling him? Do something about you. Do something about it, you. Oh, nah. Come out here. Here. Here, grab your gun. Really? Oh, nah. Oh, you're a cop? You're a police officer? Realizing there was no escape route, he attempted to defend his disgraceful actions by fabricating false <coughs> stories. But considering that the father had all the chat logs, the man was only making things worse for himself. You think I'm stupid? I had to put C4 in that nigga fucking truck. I knew you were a cop. How's this gonna look? How's this gonna look to your department? Your brother for money? Video too. This person videoing him too. Oh, somebody's videoing your brother? I don't know who your brother is, but you're a cop? They know you. You're a cop? What department do you work for? I'm going to calm down. What department do you work for? Well, they know you and you're what, videoing what, what department do you work for? I would never ask for money. Never, never, never. Hey, Big T. I, would never I just want to say you're an inspiration for me. Okay, I've never well, felt better spanking my meat to these streams. What, what, I'm calming down. What police department do you work for? I know, but what, what police department? What county is it? Exactly. Okay, what county? I already knew you were a cop in Texas, so why are you here? Okay, so you're a cop in Texas, but you live here? Do you know the Texas Rangers just took a couple guys in in Texas for me? I knew you were a cop. I knew you were a cop before you pulled up. You think I'm stupid. I do my research. I knew you were a cop. Why do you think I asked you several times? I knew you were a cop. Bro, man, his blood is nigga truck up, man. They're supposed to serve and protect, right? Nigga trying to meet 14 year old kids and shit. To serve the fucking children, right? This nigga's sick, man. So you're a fucking cop, bro. You just said I'm harassing an officer. You showed me your badge. You're a fucking cop, bro. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Don't you think the cops got enough on their plate already? Don't you? Can we agree that they already get enough? But then you got people out like out there like you trying to meet with the children. It makes them look bad, bro. Just like that other guy that's asking your brother for money makes me look bad, right? Right? But if I asked you for a penny, I asked you to call your mom to get some help, man. Right? I didn't ask you for money. You got it, sir. You got it. He said he has a problem. He's like minors for four or five years. Nigga, what? Nah, nigga, that's not a problem, nigga. You just a sick mother. Yeah, blow that nigga up, man. In GTRP. Yeah, blow that nigga ass move off. In GTRP. Well, that was right there. Yep. Well, that's your house. That's my house. Um, but anyways, um, 
Then we were talking. Hey, GTRP. His mom. Somebody must have called him because I live streamed this. And uh, he went to his truck. He was going to drive off. I told him I was calling the police. And he pulled his badge out of the center console. And he's like, you're harassing an officer of the law. Pulled his police badge out on him. He told me he was a cop. Um, told me he was a security guard at first. But yeah, right now, he just pulled out his badge of the center console. And he's like, you're harassing the cop. He's like, back the fuck up. Got it all recorded where he said he was here to have sex with a 14-year-old. Okay. Um, I got all the chat logs right here. I have one more phone right in there. I can grab it for you. It's the first, like, six where, where he... Yo, this nigga look like a PS2 character. Look at the quality of this shit. Bro, I, I can't see no features on this nigga's face. I just see a slight nose and glasses. This nigga looks like a PS2 <laughs> cut zone character. Look, look at this nigga, man. Where is the animations of this nigga shit? This nigga has no graphics or nothing. Yo, this nigga does not look real. And he's stuck in one animation. Nigga got his arms crossed. Oh, nah. This nigga is not real. Bro, this nigga's talking. I don't see his mouth moving. <coughs> nigga look like a Nintendo DS character. This nigga has the most basic. Oh, nah. So that's how he met. But as soon as I told him I was 14, he wanted to get out of uh, Grinder. He wanted to go to regular messages. He wanted to get off of what? He get out of uh, Grinder. He wanted to go to regular oh, messages. Oh, no. Because he didn't want Grinder to keep records. So he was trying to go to messaging. So we went over to messaging, and that's what I have on this phone. So you're going to see on here, this is where he asked. Oh, what's the paper? Um, that's just what he said. I just write it down so when I'm talking to him, yeah, and you can have it all. I couldn't arrest a nonce. Hey, I would bash them on sight. After the police site. had collected the man's statement, this part-time fake cop slash full-time pedo was finally detained and taken to jail to face multiple charges. Wait, you got a real police officer? Waiting trial. You fat motherfucker! You thought he was bad. Then you haven't met 34-year-old. Oh yeah, he looked like he weird. Robert Strand who on June the 19th of 2022 would be discovered to be in possession of some very illegal videos on his mobile phone. <coughs> so we're going to do this officer's going to switch out the cuffs and then we will uh, go ahead and take your holster and stuff off. Punch that nigga right in the back of his boy. While on duty, Robert had no idea that an arrest warrant had been issued against him. And by the uh, time good night, he, found out, he was already cuffed, and immediately began denying the allegations. Relax your legs. Pause. I want to get you into this vehicle quickly. Okay. But I don't want you to take anything you don't need to have. Judging by the officer's tone, it appeared they wanted the case to be as discreet as possible due to Robert's rank in the force. This is unfortunate to see, as nobody, especially someone like him, deserves any special treatment. Okay, Robert, I'm going to let Special Agent Owen Pena tell you why you're being on the place of arrest at this time. You're being placed under arrest where we're we'll getting an arrest warrant for you, sworn out. Today for possession. Oh no! Nah. Our possession of, as of a child of a of children possession statute. Okay, the biggest thing for me is I do this for everybody. I don't want a big scene made about anything. So I'm going to be as discreet as possible. Cooperate with me, we'll be fine. Um, let's get this portion done and do what we got to do. I remember one time I had a neighbor that got caught with that shit. I remember one time I was, uh, 
living in another state at the time instead of the DMV. And I was like nine. Uh, and uh, my neighbor, this nigga got caught with like one terabyte of crazy shit. And this was before terabytes even existed. So I don't know how this nigga even had this much space. It's like an 08, 09. Niggas was not having terabytes back then. Nigga had like a terabyte of some crazy shit. I knew he was weird because one time me and my brother was outside playing with like fake toy guns. That nigga was staring at us. This nigga had a terabyte in like 09, bro. I was like, what the f***, nigga? I was like, bro. That nigga was staring at me and my brother when he was playing with cap guns. Yeah, that nigga was weird, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Say my mortar, my nigga. Oh, yeah. What y'all know about this right quick, though? I need me a quick little snack. Bro, why is my refrigerator unplugged? I'm actually about to eat my ass. Bro. What about you? What y'all know about this right here for a snack? What y'all know about this right here? Yes, sir. Y'all don't know nothing about this right here. Mm-hmm. Strawberry Joe. I love applesauce. I don't, know, I don't use a spoon. Who stopped eating baby food? Bro, come on, bro. It seemed like Robert was confident in the influence his rank would provide him in jail, but wrong again, Detective Pedo. Okay, so I didn't search you. You go ahead. Um, no, I'm gonna oh. do it now. Wait till Rio gets here. I'm gonna advise him, and then we're gonna do a search. I just didn't want you there. Okay. Um, I don't like to do that with him. For the ladies out there. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say. For the ladies. My shit look empty. Yeah. Nigga, you about to cry? Okay, as soon as they're completed the residence with the search warrant, I'll let her know and we'll get that handled for you. Well, my chair won't lean back. Nigga, you caught.
bit, but I do not. This nigga weird. If you get too hot, let me know and I'll move over and open that door so you get at least these kind of shit. Damn, you appreciate that. So what happens when we're... Nigga, you going to jail? Uh, they'll go ahead and finish processing all the scenes. Okay. Um, we're gonna turn you over to... Your... Nigga, aren't you in police, nigga? You know what happens next, motherfucker? Ball head, motherfucker. Sir, I don't. I, I'm unaware of how. Yeah, I'm unaware of how Green Rancho deals with these types of detentions. I'm, I, I don't know. Um, but I'm sure you know. We'll advise them um, of who you are, and uh, so that'll be taken into consideration. It was at this point that Robert seemingly realized the severity of what he had done, and began to fear the consequences. Now I'm no genius, but perhaps he should have thought about that beforehand. Where, the other uh, he's in our command post. Oh, yeah. You want to speak with him? I don't think you can answer any of my questions. If you have something you'd like to ask him, I'm sure he'd be willing to try to answer. Yeah, I'll be delighted. Okay. This gentleman would like to ask you a couple questions if you have a minute. All right, sir, thank you. Man, if you don't just throw a grenade in that motherfucker. Nigga, delete it. What you got? That's not the li Yo, yeah, this nigga pants too tight. It'll be listed in, in the, uh, where it was found. Uh, in, 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 in the arrest warrant. Okay. Alright. Okay, no problem. Alright. Okay. This nigga, okay. this nigga just looks sick. Um, what's next is, uh, Rio's coming. They're gonna transport you to their holding cell. Oh! Yo, I should have never came up with Farmington Hills, bro. Niggas overusing it and f***ing the, the meaning up, bro. I should have never came up with Farmington Hills, Clip Farmer, Farmer John, Cheese, Farmer Johns. Niggas is overusing it and fucking it up. But everything I, everything I come up with, y'all f*** it up and, and overuse it, bro. How do you feel about two-inch messy room, no job, black men? Also, show me your <coughs> I know you have one. I mean, probably <coughs> stole it too with your no job bill. Shut up, devilish bro. face, devilish face, devilish face. When I came up with cooks, y'all up cook. Boy, I didn't come up with. I made it popular. Anything else I came up with, y'all niggas run that shit to the ground, bro. Go ahead and take your whole thing off. Niggas be clip farming, man. Going for clips right now. Three sixty double Bobby wow, wow. Was eventually arrested and driven to jail where he would be charged with two felony counts of child related crimes. He was later forced to resign from his position after being released from jail. While Robert was highly lucky to only end up with two felony counts, the next individual secured himself 20 felony charges. Everybody do a uh, watch time. Let me see who got the most watch time in this. Act despicable for anyone to commit. Who got the most watch time in this? Damn, two days? Four days? Nah, I just seen a nigga have four days, bro. Nah, that nigga might might be the top one. Okay, y'all broke the f bot, bro. It's not even popping up no more. Y'all broke the f bot, bro. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Bro, stop. Bro, stop. Dio, appreciate the sub, man. And y'all still doing it, bro. Chill, my nigga. I said okay, my nigga. All right, bro. I don't even care. There are a few steps that we're going to be taking after this. Again, you are not being detained by us or anything, but we are acting um, on behalf of the court moving forward. Okay. So I will give you a chance to read through this. Um, this is a... Somebody has three months of watch time? Who? Beans for Snacks has been following... No, he's been following the channel for three months. 
bonehead, stupid nigga. Um, as well as uh, any mobile devices that might be in your possession um, or potentially in your locker. Do you have your personal phone with you? Then? These niggas still doing. All right, let me come down there. I might start giving dick and ass. If you want to go ahead and hand it to us, we definitely don't need to go in and grab it from you. Um, when Jalen Fleer was summoned into the interrogation room on April, bro, don't tell me what I said, bro. April the 13th of 2020. He had no idea of the bombshell that was about to be dropped on him. Fleer was about to be confronted for committing sex crimes, engaging young girls between the ages of 12 and 14 on... Who are these stock photo ass girls? Hold on, 12 to what? Engaging young girls between the ages of 12 and 14... Yo, this nigga's sick, bro. ...on social media. Every nigga like this, they just walk them into a room and have a C4 trap right here and blow their kneecaps off in GTRP like a black op zombie. You know when they start crawling after you and shit? That, <laughs> they just start doing niggas like that. Oh, nah. What you mean, nice to meet you? Upon hearing the reason for the gathering, the once cheerful Fleer had quickly turned fearful and nervous. It seemed that he already knew where the situation was heading. However, he was not one to give in easily. Why is she talking so f quiet? Oh, and of course, you know about body. So, yeah, this is my body worn, of course, it for audio and video records everything. And there's also an audio recorder here. Yeah, that nigga licked his lips at least seven times. This nigga's cooked. That nigga's f fried, died, and laid to the mother. Nigga, you might as well just leave, my nigga. Move to another state or country, my nigga. Um, and you can choose to leave or let us know, and we will assist you. We'll be excellent. Although you're probably going to be more assisting me, because I don't know how they're around here. Um, so you Mark, appreciate this up. As far as like leaving, you have access points, and you know how to leave or where yeah, to go. Okay. Very cool. Um, so, I know that I have a lot to delve into, but I, I really want to get to know you first, if you don't mind. Okay. So, I'm going to lean back and get comfortable. Um, just gonna say, are you comfortable? Do you want to yeah, take off I'm your good. duty belt? No, I'm good. Okay, because okay. I understand that you know, the duty belt gets pretty annoying pretty quickly. So if you want to the way she's being so nice, she's trying to soften and, lo and loosen this nigga up so he can just admit to what he's doing. She's no, um, so trying to make that nigga not nervous. So, of course, I've done my research and investigations and everything. When asked about his social media account, he denied having an active Snapchat, not knowing that police had obtained the most incriminating evidence from his profile on the app. The interrogator knew that he wasn't ready to be honest, so she got straight to the point. Refusing to let anybody in the doors, so I can understand. Um, so, um, how about social media? Are you active on social media at all? Uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, had Snapchat back in the day, got rid of that with my wife. Got caught in the cabin and stuff and some stuff. Can you tell me about that, or? Uh, I mean, it was with another recruit, Captain, but... Okay. So you're 
cat. With I was back in. I stopped. Everything got cut off. Um, got rid of. I mean, I didn't delete the Snapchat. I just got to delete the app. So. <laughs> he lying. Uh, so on Facebook, just because I like to jot down everybody's social media when I can. Um, what's your Facebook login? Like your um, username? Uh, just like your name. What's your name? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you said Instagram? Instagram, yeah. Okay. What's your Instagram username? Uh, Instagram is And then you said you got rid of Snapchat, but when you did have it, what was it? Um, just Jalen. Man, deploy a grenade on this nigga chest. So the one that you had there, has that, so that account since been deleted or just deactivated? That one, the just, just delete the app. I think it's still there. Okay. And w I know when it comes to and GTRP. Facebook, you connect it to an email address. Do you know yeah. what email address is connected to it? And then your Instagram account, what's the same email? I think so. And I know sometimes with Snapchat, they'll have you either sign up with a phone number or an email. When confronted about talking to young girls online, it came as no surprise when Fleer had strongly denied the allegations, as most child predators often do. But had he known what was to come, he might have reconsidered his stance. Yeah. Emma? Okay, cool. That makes sense. Um, so, as far as, like, um, the picture, so... Um, this photo came up in connection with some allegations um, about you communicating with a younger female on Snapchat. Okay. Have you ever communicated with any females that uh, we, we have already recognized that yes, you have with your recruit so. from the from the um, the bat, uh, from the past. Is there anyone else you communicate with on Snapchat? That good? No, just a close friends and coworkers and stuff like that. Anyone recently? Um, is there any reason why your phone number and email might be linked to a different Snapchat account? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that phone number and email wouldn't be attached to any other account. Okay. Fuck that, my nigga. Yeah. He might as well blow himself up. Just blow that whole room up. Yeah, this nigga's cooked. And, um, your schedule. I know that, um, you work every seven days on and seven days off. What is your wife's schedule? Uh, she's every Friday, Saturday off um, on day shift. So typical nine to nine to five. Okay, so she works nine to five and you work like the complete opposite schedule? Depends. Every three months we run two days and nights. Okay. And how long have you been on nights now? Nights now? Is, is something I might, I should have lawyers on. So right now, and I'll go over the video. Because, you know, we're CJ so live, appreciate that two months, three months, boy. Oh no. Um, some photos, some images, stuff like that. So we of course want to be able to hear what happened from your side, if that in fact did occur, or if it didn't occur, we want to Everyone that I talked to, I think it was about my age. Okay. Even after being presented with substantial evidence against him, <coughs> he still maintained his innocence. However, by doing so, he was effectively digging his... Bro, he could have just left, my nigga. There were also some conversations that were between this person. Okay. Not on chat chat? No. Not recently? We ain't playing poppy tonight, I just know it. Shut your ass up, nigga. Before I slap the shit out of you. No, you said Don't tell me what I'm gonna play, ass nigga. I might stream for seven hours tonight, nigga. And I know you're a law enforcement officer, so I know that you've also taken the time to make the plates confidential. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not your plates. <laughs> so you're still driving the Ford Fusion? Yeah. And it's, is it black or gray? It's gray. Okay. And you got tinted windows on it still? Yeah. And so, um... W3 hours. I'd be surprised if you do four. Nigga, I average four and a half. Five. What the f*** are y'all talk about, nigga? Shut the f*** up. Uh, you know, when it comes to the photo, I really kind of just, 
I really want to understand why this person would be in possession of the photo, but the only one who could really help me with that is you. Okay. I, I can check that out. Well, along with the photo came some additional information about your personal life. Okay. Um, and based on some of the information you shared with me today, it seems to add up. Okay. Um, so is there any reason why the person would say they're you, they're you and share your information? It sounds like it'd be someone who knows me. Yeah, this nigga's um, cooked, bro. We know that you're a baseball player. Yeah. Yeah. So that information is kind of shared. Um, bro, just show the nigga dangling in the Snapchat chat, bro. Yo, Gucci, shut your ass up, nigga. You on Dave's dick because he gave your ass a sub, you ass nigga. Bro, I'm saying the nigga sent his dangling on Snapchat, bro. I'm saying just show the nigga the information, the, the picture that you know the nigga sent his picture, bro. Just go ahead and show that nigga, bro, so his heart can drop to his ass. Lil Sam, I appreciate that. All of these questions may have seemed irrelevant, but the reality is the investigation. Hold on, he said, why is his voice so slow? Speed up, set it. Hold on, let me get his ass gone. Ass nigga. Where he go? Take a 10 minute, you ass nigga. Why is nigga saying queso ray? Queso just ended? Oh, no. Nah. Peter already knew the truth. By asking these questions, she was hoping to catch Fleer in a lie and worsen the charges against him. Snapchat account that has some links to you. Bro, just show the nigga dangling, man. I know he sent this dangling. I wanted to Yeah, no, I never even heard of that account. Just show the nigga dangling, man. I'm not saying to me. I know he sent this dangling in the Snapchat chip, in the clip. You know what I'm saying? So show the nigga dangling. Nigga, I'm not saying show me. I'm saying I know he said. See, look, look, I told you of your penis. I told you, nigga, I know what I'm talking about. I told you. I just said he sent this dangling. Look what she said. Images of your penis. No, nigga, I know what I be talking about. Told you. And how many times did you say you've talked? A lot. Damn, freaky ass nigga. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> kind of explain that a little bit more to me. Nah, I ain't never seen my dangling on Tinder, nigga. He's a freak. High school. Angie and I. Who the fuck is Angie? Nah, that's insane. I ain't never sent somebody else my sex tape. Nah, that's, that's. Yeah, send this, put this nigga in the jail. Right now. Um, so you've never shared any videos? Just still shot. I know it's kind of personal, so let me know if you get uncomfortable at all. Can you tell me what some of those images look like? Oh, nah. She asking this nigga what his dangling look like. He gonna say it's just what he got a pink tip or some crazy shit. Video I had. Uh, toys. Okay. It's not weird, like that. I use toys on my wife and stuff. What type of toys? Can you explain the toys? Uh, rose toys? You got the rose? She's your wife, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's your wife, it's intimate, you probably get this, yeah. Nigga, you use a what on your wife? Nigga, you gay! Oh, nah! Yo, bro. Oh, nah. Nah, nah, this nigga gay. No, no, this nigga's gay. Nah. That nigga's gay. Nigga, you use what on your wife, my nigga? You using another dick on your wife, my nigga? First of all, I'm breaking up with my wife. If my wife tells me to use a D on her, I don't know if I can say that. I can say that on Twitch, right? It's not TOS. Right? Yeah. Yeah, niggas talking about nothing and shit. And my wife asked me to use a dildo on her. 
I'm going to break up with her ass. Because that means she's going to go to the store and pick out the toy that she wants. The right size. Which means she's in the vision and... Uh, nah, man. Nah. I'm, 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 I'm divorcing, bro. I'm divorcing her. Nah, this nigga crazy, bro. I mean, he got multiple. He put it with an S, which means your wife got multiple of those. Nigga, you freaked out. Free van? We gone for seven days, man. Y'all know how it be. This nigga asked for so long. Just arrest this weird ass nigga. Um, yeah, I need to max win. Already sensing where it was going. Fleer had demanded a lawyer, but let's be honest, even 10 lawyers could not have bailed him out of this mess. I'm uncomfortable with this. This is weird. Of course, like, um, you definitely have the ability to do that, and of course, yep. this is completely voluntary. Okay. Um, and so, um, I just don't want to get caught up on something. I fully understand. Nigga, you already caught up. Weird, nigga. You can, yes. 100% elect not to speak with us. You are not under arrest at this time. Yeah, um, obviously, given the fact that we're here and the fact that we're speaking to you, I know that your bosses are going to want to speak with you afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and allow them to speak with you after. Okay. Um, obviously, since you don't Three hour flu game, let's go. Soon after obtaining a search warrant, his facial expression showed that he knew that he was getting charged. But I'm willing to bet he didn't know just how many. Soon afterwards, Fleer would be searched, and evidence was put together that clearly proved him to be guilty. He would be charged with 18 felonies. God damn! And two misdemeanor charges, and later sentenced to 12 years in the state prison. Oh, yeah, they gonna have fun with this nigga. But just when you think you've seen it all, meet Officer Shorty. Yo, this nigga is weird, bro. Look at this nigga's face. It looked like this nigga Shorty. A high-ranking and decorated officer who lured a boy to a hotel room to do the unthinkable. Yo, just blow these niggas up! And I can't think of any other proof that I can show you. There's nothing. It's because there's no... I mean... There absolutely would be. What we, have, had, what we have is the truth. If I had phone calls or if I had... But you don't because they don't exist. What we have is the truth. And GTRP, my nigga. You know it. You know that's what I would have thought to have to, to record a phone call or anything with a guy. I mean, he's... It was recorded. That's what we've got pictures of. The conversation was recorded. I mean, that, that that is so clearly you. You and I both know that's you. Anyone we show that to is going to know that's you. Well, that's the problem. It's, like not a problem. it's the truth. What, what I'm saying, the problem is, is that for some reason, 
you think that if you stick your head in the sand and ignore it, it's going to go away. It's not. Your best bet is to tell us the truth, tell us what happened, and then move on from it. Make this a bump in the road, not the road. On March the 9th of 2017, at around 1 a.m., officers would respond to a distress call about a missing teenage boy. They had received an anonymous tip stating that someone, matching the boy's description, had entered into a hotel room with a man. And when officers arrived at the hotel, they were stunned by what they discovered. Initially, police pretended to be conducting a welfare check. However, when the man confirmed another party was in the room, officers oh, demanded no. that he open the door. Their party was in the room. Officers oh, demanded no. that he open the door. Cops quickly retrieved the young boy, but were shocked by who they found at the heart of the crime. A well-respected and high-ranking officer by the name of Ralph Allen Lee Shorty. With the staggering evidence against him, he was arrested and taken for interrogation. What transpired there? Well, we were uh, uh, inside talking and uh, <coughs> you know, we were down at the work. I obviously didn't know who it was, couldn't see it through the keyhole or the, the peephole. And so, um, oh, uh, no. the young man I was with, I know, has oh, uh, no. for maybe to talk to me. He's come to the coffee shop that I operate a couple times. I've even had one in my house, but I've been before. Um, had no idea. Told me when I first met him that he was 20. And uh, so when they first got there, I I didn't know what, what the issue was. <coughs> um, you know, I uh, didn't know if it was you know, somebody trying to get in or what. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I asked them, and somebody that said it was a wellness or something like that, and I said, hey, I'm fine. And, um, they, uh, they were persistent. Hurry up, nigga. And I could finally see a badge. And then they said that there was a minor inside the room. Um, obviously, I had no idea. WX, man, let's go. He was 20 years old. Um, like I said, we've been talking on the phone for a while. He, in fact, for a few months, he even told me that he went to California to try to be in the music industry or something. Although he denied knowing the child was a minor, the investigation proved quite the contrary. How so? March the 16th of 2017, Shorty would be charged by the Cleveland County District Attorney on three felony counts. Soliciting a minor for sex acts. Oh, no. Prostitution within 1,000 feet of a church. Nigga, that's a charge? That's so specific and transporting an individual for prostitution. Yo, this nigga, yo. Months later, Shorty would be found guilty and sentenced to 15 years in prison. Fuck that, get that nigga 15 switches. Right to the 10 in GJRP. Plus 10 years of supervised release. Thankfully, Shorty was brought to justice, even though he almost committed the atrocity. But this next officer didn't even come close, as he would be trapped by a YouTuber before anything happened. Oh, no! Hey, what are you here for? How you doing? What's your name? Paul. Paul? Yeah. What are you right here for? What's that? What are you right here for, Paul? Me? Yeah. I'm here to meet some of my friends. It's you're here to meet. Get to meet your friends? Yeah, I'm here to get... Some tur I'm here to get some turkey iced tea. Some cash, why? Oh, no, no, keep your hands where I can see them. Uh, who are you? Listen, I'm out here. I know what you're right here to do. I'm not here to do nothing. Listen, I'm here to get a turkey hill iced tea. You hit up. This nigga said turkey hill iced tea. This nigga got specific. Nigga, you hear the nigga, you weird, nigga. One of my decoys already. Niggas don't even say that. That's how you know this nigga's crazy. Niggas don't even say the brand of juice they trying to get. Niggas say, I'm gonna give me an iced tea. This nigga saying turkey hill. No, listen. Yeah. Nigga getting way too specific. Yeah, lock this nigga up. Buddy, you got the wrong guy. Buddy, Paul? No. My name is not Paul. You just say Paul. No. You just say your name Paul. My name is not Paul. You got the wrong guy, buddy. I don't know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, what's good, man? What's it's up? What's up? There's another not, one right you're here. Not playing no, you're not playing no homie game with me. You're not playing no game with me. Got one again right here. You're not, not playing not no, no game with me. <coughs> 
as the police officer, Leonard Galley, was there to meet up with a miner that he had been in contact with on the phone. Oh, no. But little did he realize that there was no miner, and he had just walked into an elaborate trap. But despite being caught red-handed, he was Nigga not, did say his name was Paul. not going to give in so easily. How are you not partner yet? I don't know. I got to fill it out again. Shut your bitch ass up. What are you here for? How you doing? What's your name? Paul. Why are you Paul? showing me this again? Friends. You're here to yeah. meet your friends? Yeah, I'm here to get some turkey. I'm here to get turkey. Nothing. There are His face was clearly captured in the footage, and days later he would be apprehended by the police and charged for soliciting a minor for six. Yo, these niggas are fucked up, man. eventually sentenced to two years in prison. If you like this video, <coughs> Only two years, my nigga. What, my nigga? Nah, they need to start blasting these niggas. With a big old shotgun. 